Hey guys, Alto Marco here, and this is going to be your Wednesday video report. Let's get to your complimentary plays for your college basketball card. First of all, going to take a look at the Atlantic 10 contest between St. Joe's and Rhode Island. St. Joe's a three and a half point road favorite in this one. Listen, St. Joe's is obviously on a nice little roll, coming off a 75-64 win over LaSalle on the road, preceded by that big 69-62 win over VCU at home. They've won four of their last five. 12 of their last 15, but it's all for naught if they lose to Rhode Island. And listen, the Rams have lost five in a row. And after a 12-point loss at home to Duquesne as a five-point chalk on Saturday, their coach, Dan Hurley, openly questioned the, his team's effort. So this is always one of those situations you have to be leery of in terms of a trap. St. Joe's off two big wins on the road. Rhode Island playing miserably. Do they suddenly rise up and win the damn game outright? Think Temple SMU. But I'm going to go with St. Joe's here right now because St. Joe's learned its lesson the first time it played Rhode Island. At home, barely winning 61-57, having to rally, not even coming close to covering his 9.5 point favorite back in that January 26 contest. And they got the benefit of having the calls going their way at home, 38 free throw attempts versus just 15 to Rhode Island. Now, it's not only the officiating, obviously getting some more home calls, but also because St. Joe's is a bigger, more physical interior team. Again, this game at the Ryan Center tonight in Rhode Island. I'm going to go with St. Joe's. little leery, but the fact is Rhode Island is a shorthanded team. Only seven scholarship players were playing available in that Duquesne game. They only shoot 65% from the free throw line. That's bad news when you're trying to cover the spread, whether you're on the home uh, on the road or at home. So I'm going to go with them in that particular spot here tonight. Um, next game, I like UCLA plus the one and a half points at California Bears. Uh, lost 76-64 at Pauley Pavilion January 26, a seven-point dog. Uh, David Ware, career-high 18 points. Ironically, his two biggest scoring games in his college career both come against the Golden Bears, 18 and 17 points. Kyle Anderson, though, the do-everything guy, second-leading scorer for the Bruins, leading rebounder. Against the Bears' first go-round, they had no answer, 17 points, 12 rebounds, five assists. Now, California is one of those inconsistent teams that are all over college basketball, play their best ball against the big name teams. Remember their last home game? Upset Arizona, handing them their first loss of the season. But they've only won one of their last five games uh, prior to a road sweep of Washington schools, Washington, Washington State uh, last week. And that one win, as I noted, was against Arizona. Go figure. But I like UCLA in this contest. They've won three in a row, six of their last seven. They're the top scoring team in the Pac-12, averaging just about 81 points a game. So I'm going to go with the Bruins in this one. And then the other selection tonight, it's a big number, but I'm going to go with the X-Men of Xavier, minus the 14 and a half points at home against DePaul. Listen, uh, DePaul's leading score first was suspended, then he left school a week ago. That is Cleveland Melvin. Well, he had 25 points to lead DePaul in the first meeting that Xavier won by 10 points on the road. And at that game, Xavier shot 58%. Now, they're coming off a loss to Marquette. So it's a must-win situation for the Musketeers to get back and to get off the bubble as much as they can. Meanwhile, DePaul's coming off a 23-point loss at Providence, a 15-home point loss a uh, point home loss to Villanova, lost to 12 by Creighton, lost to 12 to Georgetown. You get the drift. They've lost eight straight games overall. Um, this is Xavier's only home game in a five-game stretch with visits to Georgetown and St. John's next, which isn't going to be easy. And then they play Creighton and Villanova, I think, uh, in two of their final three games of the year. So I'm going to go with the X-Men. Xavier, the Musketeers, minus 14.5 points is your other freebie. Good luck, guys, and I'll catch you again on Friday.